What does it mean to be part of the Herman Miller family now? I think when we were contacted, it actually came uh, a bit unexpected. Mm -hmm. It made us very proud. I think there's a lot of similarities between Herman Miller and Hay, especially the people who are working in the companies. Mm -hmm. I feel like bringing people from our teams together with people from the team in Michigan and New York and all around the world is like, we go really well together. Uh -huh. I was 23 and Rolf was 10 years older when we started the company. And uh, sometimes I wish that if someone had said to us like 20 years ago that one day you will partner up with this amazing American company, I think we would have like, <laughs> I don't know what we have. You both are now part of Herman Miller's long storied design legacy that includes people like George Nelson, Alexander Girard, the Eameses, who are some of your design heroes. Uh, there's a very easy answer for that question, and that is Ray and Charles Eames. They say that uh, love makes people blind, but, <laughs> but, but uh, there's nothing I, I don't like. Uh, from what they did in, in kind of like from design, architecture, the films. I have actually been considering a lot why they had such a high level in everything they did. I think they cared a lot about the starting point for the projects they were doing. Mm -hmm. Do you both live with any pieces by the Eameses? I think the first piece of furniture that we bought together was the Eames lounge chair. <laughs> and we still have it in our home. Grown with your family, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Although she's not allowed to our dog, she's sleeping in the, <laughs> in the lounge chair. So she's, she's comfortable. To me, you're very similar to an Alexander Girard whose eye was just so keenly trained on seeing objects in their materials and thing, identifying things that people would maybe enjoy living with. What is your process? I, I feel like when we have seen like pictures and movies from how the Eames worked and Girard and all the others, it, we've often talked about that it looked like they had fun. I hope we have the same energy in our studio. It's always a joy when we do a new product. We are not working like we need to make X numbers of new product right. every season or every year. And I think that's a big privilege to be able to work in that way. So I would say that each object are chosen because we feel like there's a need of it mm -hmm. um, or like a joy of making it accessible to many people. You guys have both been to Michigan. What are your, what's your sense of place there? Yeah. We're far away from each other. Mm -hmm. There's a big uh, distance between Copenhagen and, and, and Michigan. But then uh, we're also, like Meta was saying, there is a, a closeness in, in the way we think. There's a shared passion for design. And all the knowledge. Yeah. This is just the beginning of a long um, time relationship. Yeah.